What's up? This is Squad 2448, where American Truck Simulator video. Today, we'll be using the Speedo 389 low roof sleeper to haul load of Tesla cars from Oakland, California to Reno, Nevada. We'll be hopping here on the inside of the Peterboat and we'll be heading out here from this dealership. We are being paid just around $8,600 and the load weighs in at just around 24,000 pounds, which is pretty cool. And right now, in game, it's just around 7.40 p.m. at night, so this will go into the night hours, which is okay. And hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. My day is going good so far, and hope yours is too, you guys. And see, so we are leaving here. Here, very nice, very smooth area to leave. It is a bit tricky sometimes, but I really do enjoy playing this game. Looks like we do have a few cars coming, even though we could probably go. Just because we are a semi-truck, I really just do not want to go. Looks like we could actually go right after this car. I am using a Logitech G29 racing steering wheel with pedals, and very soon I will be kind of getting the shifter set up so that I could uh, pretty much uh, do this manual instead of using the in-game automatic. Looks like we are good both ways. You always do want to double check multiple times, guys, and see now that we can see more and more cars coming, we'll have to come to a complete stop, but sometimes it is tricky with uh, different things kind of in the way. I would like to thank each and every one of you for all of the continued support here on the daily videos. It's a ton of fun to upload to YouTube every single day, and you guys are the ones that are making it possible. It's just overall amazing, and I do appreciate the support you guys, since it looks like the speed limit is 30, and we are well below, which is always nice. Now, it looks like we will have to go kind of a little bit further down and do a little bit of backtracking. Now, that could be because the road could be a one-lane road only, or you just can't really get on onto that road that is actually a first but and now taking a closer look at it we are actually getting on the highway up here which is pretty cool and this is going to be a very nice sunset haul and it looks like we are now right behind the cement truck over here, which is pretty cool. Getting on the brakes quite a lot, but this is a pretty light load for us, guys, since you just take a look at that really interesting color, too. I just really like it a lot. We'll have to come to a complete stop, switch here to the first person view, and we are taking a left. I also do have a Euro Truck Simulator video coming out very, very soon. I did say it a few times, and I will definitely be doing one of those. But you guys can see quite a few different semi-trucks all around us, which is pretty cool. And you guys can see they just keep stopping here. So, I mean, you always have to be on your toes, ready to go. And you always really just want to make sure you are on the brakes and pay attention. You do not want to cause any accidents. You, let's kind of just take a closer look at this. Just take a look at that green light now, but we will have to wait you guys can see the cement truck there is in the intersection just a little so if the light was to turn red he can go and both of us can actually go right after this you guys can see he will be going and we'll just kind of follow along yes it is uh just about red but we are here in the middle of the intersection so we can't really stop you guys can see take a look that we are able to clear that car now we are taking another left take a look that that car pretty much just pulled right out in front of the other car and that is not a safe thing to do especially going right out in front of a uh, cement truck I mean those things are very heavy you guys can see getting on the freeway over here nice job turning I just really do enjoy using and uh, using Peterbilt's and the Ken Morts here but I want to get different ones I currently am looking into those mods pretty good job so far take a look at that cinematic shot I just really do like a lot we'll kind of turn off our indicator we'll stay over here and we'll continue down the road this haul will take just around four and a half hours here in game, which isn't going to be too long. And I have been cutting out just a little bit of the driving. A few of you guys have asked me to kind of do a little bit longer, which I will be trying to do. I actually do want to get over one lane. You guys can see that semi truck will be letting us go, just because that uh, third lane all the way over to right always does go there into an exit off ramp. So we do have to maintain our speed. We are going a few over. A few over is not that bad, but here in this game, a few over will get you and so we do have to be <laughs> very careful i beat your american truck cylinder every single wednesday here on the channel 12 p.m i really do enjoy featuring this series in all of the different simulators including farming simulator it looks like the sun is now 
the sun is now setting and we have to turn our lights on you guys since we are here in quite a bit of traffic now you guys can see the speed limit here is 80 so I mean you could actually go pretty fast but I do want to stop here and get some diesel fuel for us our employer will uh, kind of uh, pay for the cost of it just because we are doing one of those quick jobs I really do like quick jobs also just because we get to use different uh, trucks and whole different types of them it looks like we do have another semi truck kind of getting off here which is nice but we are en route from California to Nevada so that's gonna be pretty cool and take off that quite a busy day here at the pump so I'm probably thinking I believe that we could go in here this will be a bit tight not really the best thing to do and yet that person leaves there so we'll just do over here this is a bit tricky but we are good and we'll pull forward and as you guys can see diesel fuel is 290 we'll turn it off and we'll get started but 290 isn't that bad a few different areas we did see it as high as just around 3 350 so I mean this isn't that bad of a deal and uh, fuel prices are going up now because it's the summer you guys can see $250 there worth of diesel which isn't that bad and you do want to look both ways uh, very tight but now it looks to be a little bit less there are a few people stopping they're sleeping because they have to and you guys can see just take a look at that very big traffic line and we'll have to wait here in this And you guys can see it looks like the traffic here is backed up for quite some time. It really only looks like our lane, the uh, far right lane, is kind of backed up. But wow, there's like three or four semi trucks here in front of us. And uh, we will have to kind of work through a boat. You guys can see we'll wait here. And there are trucks uh, lined up behind us. But while we are waiting, just take a look at these a Tesla cars, some pretty cool cars, full electric cars, very quick. I mean, these have a very quick 0 to 60, and electric means instant power, so that's always a bonus, but I still do like V8s and the turbos, everything like that. We are now getting here on the highway, and I actually do see a few police lights, so what I will do is, and it looks like everybody is getting over lane, so take off that guys, I got over lane, while everyone else will have to, so I mean, it's good to kind of notice things before and just kind of keep cruising by, but just take a look at quite a few police lights up here, hopefully we can kind of take a look before everybody, uh, kind of blocks our view but we'll kind of let this truck by and it looks like another truck is also going to try to squeeze by we'll also let them and you guys can see two police cars there this is a bit tricky looks like this uh semi truck driver is going to let us by i do appreciate him we do uh pretty much are going for but take a look at that guys looks like it's just one car two police cars which are pretty much just blocking that lane there caused quite a bit of traffic jam but now we are ready to go and it will gain our speeds back up to 80 but and now you guys can see pretty realistic lights and overall I really do enjoy playing this game the realism that you could uh, do here in this game everything like that We've just about 10 miles up here in today's haul. It is pretty dark right now just because it's around 10 p.m. here at night. And it looks like we'll be getting off the freeway up here to our right. We'll definitely indicate. And the, the roads are pretty quiet this time of night, which is always a big bonus. Not too much traffic. You can just go the highway speed limit. And you do make up a little bit of ground. Now, it looks like our destination is right over here also, which is very close by to highway. I kind of do like having them close and you guys can see just barely stopping here and it looks like we'll be uh, letting go just because we are actually there into the intersection just a little bit very very hard brakes here on this Peterboat but this truck has been doing an amazing job today and it's in a pretty interesting yellow but you guys can see take a look that we are now just about here at Oakland and I mean overall very nice destination and it looks like we are coming over here to the ports and we got the green light I really do like uh, having all of these different lights but this is like my first time coming down here to the ports and I just overall really do enjoy kind of coming down here so you guys can see it looks like it's just right over here down this road speed limit is 30 and we are pretty much going 
uh, 28, 30, a little bit over here. But I think that that is a fine now. Pretty sharp turn. Take off that another semi truck is coming. Wow, very, very sharp. You definitely have to drop your speeds in areas like this. And we are just about here passing by a gas station. That's actually pretty convenient for those trucks uh, wanting gas that come right off the docks. And it looks like we'll be uh, kind of just entering the start of it. Just trying to find the start. It's actually right over here. So we'll kind of stop and we'll see where they want us to park these. And we do want to go for 40, so that's actually a pretty far distance away, but that is okay. And it does look like I did mix up just a little bit on it, where we were starting. So we started there in Reno, Nevada, and we made our way down here to Oakland. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I did get that mixed up there in the intro. I do apologize, but so many different cities we go to, it's pretty confusing. And you guys, since you just take a look, that it looks like this will actually be pretty easy. That must be why it's a little bit less excellent. XP wise, we're kind of uh, coming here. We are actually coming in a little too fast, and all we really have to do is just pull straight forward here, get it lined up, and then back it in. So, this should actually be a very simple, very easy backing up and breaks very hard. And I actually do want to try to do this one here in first person view, it's a bit easy. And you guys can see just using our mirror there, it is tricky at the same time though because the cones are so hard to see at night that I just want to get as close as I can. As you guys can see, it looks like we'll be able to do this here on our first try, which is always nice. You guys can see that they do have quite a few other things here at the docks, and we are doing a really good job. Good job on that side, good on this side, and we do want it to come a little bit more, and take a look at that. It looks like we'll have to pull forward, readjust just a little bit. Using a steering wheel and pedals is a bit trickier than just uh, using a keyboard. I'm just moving the wheel back and forth just a little bit to make sure the trailer does kind of be get backed up straight here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video using this Peterbilt 389 low roof to haul a load of Teslas from Reno, Nevada to Oakland, California. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.